If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. When you save a Word document for the first time, you must use the Save As command to choose where to save the file and what to name it. To do this, click the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the Save As command in the Command panel at the left side of the Backstage view. To the right of the Command panel, a list of available places to save the file appears. The choices vary depending on the Office subscriptions and services available to your Microsoft account. If you have previously saved files, the Recent option shows a list of folder locations into which you recently saved files. Other common options include your OneDrive folder for Microsoft user accounts, SharePoint folders for business Microsoft 365 subscribers, and this PC. Select the location to which to save the file. If you save to a OneDrive or SharePoint folder, you save the file online, which lets you access it from any online computer when signed in with the same user account. To add additional Cloud Save locations to which to save files, click the Add a Place link in this list. Then click a link to the right for the Cloud Service location to add. Then enter your login credentials for the selected Cloud Service to add any available Cloud locations to your list of save locations. Alternatively, if you select the This PC choice in the list of saved locations, you can save the file to the local computer or local computer network on which you are working. If signed into Microsoft Office using a Microsoft user account, you can click either the OneDrive or SharePoint choice to save the file online to either the selected OneDrive or SharePoint folder. If you select SharePoint, then select a SharePoint site that appears in the list to the right. Alternatively, you can click the This PC option to save the file to your local computer or local network. At that point for all choices, a list of folders in the selected location appears in the list to the far right. You can click a folder in this list to select it as the saved location. To go back up one level from within the folder you selected, Click the Select to Navigate Up One Level button, which looks like an upward pointing arrow, to the left of the current folder's name at the top of the rightmost panel. Then type a file name into the Enter File Name Here field at the top of the rightmost list. File name should be short and descriptive. Word does not let you use the following symbols in a file name the colon, the forward slash, the backslash, the greater than sign, the less than sign, the asterisk, double quotes, or the pipe symbol. Give the file a memorable name and note into which folder you saved it. People often remember what they named a file but forget into which folder they saved it. If needed, you can then use the drop down below that field to select the specific file type to save. If available for your Microsoft 365 account, you can also select a file sensitivity choice from the File Sensitivity dropdown. After entering the file name and noting its save location, click the Save button to the right of the File Type dropdown to finish saving the file. Alternatively, if you prefer to use a Windows Save As dialog box to name saved files and select their save locations, then either click the More Options link under the File Type and Sensitivity dropdowns at the top of the rightmost folder list, or click the Browse link in the list of possible saved locations. Doing either action then opens the Save As dialog box. In this dialog box, select the folder into which to save the file by using the folder navigation options at either the top or left sides of the dialog box. Then enter a file name into the file name field.
If needed, use the Save As Type dropdown to select the file type to save. Then click the Save button within the Save As dialog box to finish saving the file. After initially saving a file, its name then appears in the title bar. To save changes you make to locally saved files after that, simply click the Save button in the Quick Access toolbar, or click the File tab in the ribbon, and then click the Save command. You will not have to re-enter the file name or select a saved location. Word automatically saves the changes to the existing file. If the file is saved online to OneDrive or SharePoint, and Autosave is enabled, then there will not be a save command available in the backstage view, although you can still use the Save button in the Quick Access toolbar if desired. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.